there. Um, uh, I decided to do um, just a weekly update on um, how things are going. Tomorrow, Ella Sophia will be um, four weeks, so one month old. And um, I was meant to do like weekly updates at week one, week two, week three, blah blah. But um, it never really happened. I always had stuff happening and on the go. So um, yeah. So anyway, I'm doing this now, and just to let you know how things have gone for both um, mommy and baby. Um, first, I'll just start off with me, so we can just get it out of the way. We can go on to Ella Sophia. Um, I'm doing really, really well. Um, the first, um, just like highlights of the weeks that have gone past. Um, the first week I um, thought was quite hard, um, just basically because of the breastfeeding issue that I was having. Um, but that's, you know, that's uh, after that had, after we put her on formula, everything went well. Um, uh, in terms of my body and how things were, um, like obviously like the first day when I woke up at the hospital, it was a bit weird to like walk around and, and stuff. But, um, you know, I think at day four or so, I was experiencing, you know, it was fine. I mean, I really could walk and move around fine. There was no issues at all. Um, so I am nothing to complain about, and that's great, especially considering all the pelvic pains that I was having and the back pains, everything. So, um, yeah, I, I've got nothing but good to report back on that after week one. Um, I didn't bleed as much, so I, I was like, I, I don't know what I was expecting really. Um, I didn't really bleed as much, and um, in week two, the bleeding did start slowing down a lot, like, it was just like little you know, almost like little drop. Um, no pains at all. Um, I, I, you know, I haven't really experienced any pains throughout this whole thing. Um, I did get uh, stitching and that done, but um, you know, I just did the normal thing of keeping it clean and dry, and um, I'm continuing to do that. Everything seems to be fine. So um, I am going for a checkup tomorrow at the gynecologist, and um, yeah, let's just hope everything is all right. How my belly is. Like today, so like I said, tomorrow she will be a month, one month, so four weeks. So this is like a four weeks postpartum. There you go. Maybe I can lift it up. I don't know if it really helps. As you can see, it's really nice and flabby. <laughs> so, I mean, what what can you do? This is this is how it is. Um, yeah, I. Um, I've like thought about what I'm going to do like in terms of working out and eating and all of that kind of stuff to get back to normal but I'm not like stressing about it and I will we'll chat more about it in another video but right now as it stands I feel great I'm happy I'm you know and my mind is preoccupied by the most important little angel in the whole world and you know that's all that matters so yeah from my side I'm doing great just super super great um, and let's talk about Elsevier, <laughs> the star of the show. Um, she has been growing really, really well. Um, her birth weight was 3340, and because of the feeding problems that we had in the beginning, she did drop weight quite a lot, uh, quite a lot of weight. Bless you. Bless you, honey. And, um, in the second week, we were at the... Uh, the doctor's office and there she started you know picking up slowly um, and getting back to her weight uh, she got back to birth weight I think it was early on in week three and then um, we've measured her or we weighed her using like a, a fish scale kind of thing that we, we bought from a sports store but I mean it's like it does the job and yeah whatever just so that we know um, and then the last time she was measured was last week Thursday, so that means you know, she was three weeks and a bit, three weeks and two days, and she ended up weighing three, uh, three seven four zero. So on average, she's kind of gaining about two hundred and yeah, just about two hundred grams per week. And um, as far as the formula feeding is going, that's going really well. We've had a couple of incidences where, you know, either we've been feeding her quite fast or um, that, 
you know, she might have just had an upset tummy or something where she's just like, you know, thrown it all up. And, you know, we've, we've learned from that. So we try and give her as much breaks as possible during her feeding. Uh, either like walking around with her. Um, we do find that changing her in between, like halfway in between the feeds do work really, really well. Um, she's, um, she wakes up a little more and then, you know, she'll finish the feeding really nicely and she generally does fall asleep after the feeding. Sleeping at night, she, I mean, she, because she eats, like, so regularly and stuff like that, we're able to, you know, kind of know during the night when she's going to wake up and want food, because that's all she wakes up anytime, whether day or night kind of thing, she just wakes up for food, and, um, you know, and she'll just cry a little, and then when she gets the food, she's happy, she's so, so happy. So, um, we've had no problems, and that's been really good so far, you know. Um, and then in the night time, uh, yeah, like I said, you know, she'll just cry, wake up, cry, want food, and then once she has the food, she's happy. The, the feeds during the daytime, I've noticed, like, after the three weeks, um, she has, like, started to be a little bit more awake during the day. And, like, now, I've fed her. And, you know, like try to get her off to sleep and stuff like that. But she wants to be awake. And I have made the decision that during the day it's okay. It's totally okay for her to be a little bit more awake and just play. And, you know, we talk to her and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Because in the night time she is tired. And then, you know, she sleeps. She doesn't do anything like this. She's just like, has her food, happy, and sleeping. So, um, yeah. And I guess over the next coming weeks, she's just going to be even more awake, and um, that's going to be great to be able to play with her. Um, I did put pictures on the blog about how she's been smiling. She smiled from a very, very early age. I mean, it was like week one, and I don't know, she was like a couple of days old, and she was smiling. And uh, we found out from the doctor's office that, you know, that's a really good thing. That means that, you know, she she's a happy baby in terms of that she's getting what she wants, like she's getting her food and everything, and that makes me glad, you know. And anyway, just to see her smile really just lights up my day, so, you know. Um, yeah, and she's continued to smile. She, um, she smiled at a whole lot of other people as well that have come to visit her, and um, it's really cute. It's just really cute. So, um, yeah, that's really pretty much it, like, as far as how everything's going, um, she's doing really, really well with everything. And um, and she, she one thing that she like, oh, that she does, <clears throat> and this is when she's extremely hungry. And it's like when she is extremely hungry, the way she can cry is almost like it's the end of the world, and you know, kind of thing. Her whole face is so red, and it's it's really cute but of course she just hates us you know like because we make a whole thing about it like laughing with her and trying to calm her down of course um but it's cute i think it's cute and my point was that when she does get hungry she often tends to want to like uh stand you know like on her own to feed and if i'm holding her she'll want to stand so it's like it's amazing how much strength she actually has um, we've noticed from early, early on is that her neck, her strength back in her neck to hold her own head up has been, I mean, that was early on, like quite early, like also two weeks that she wanted to hold her own head and, um, obviously we are really careful about it because you never know which way she wants to go. And, um, yeah, so we're always making sure that we're holding her correctly and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, she's growing up really well, and she's gonna be one month old tomorrow. I am so so excited. This is it's crazy how time has just flown by. Um, yeah, but that's all for mommy and baby, and we're all doing great. And I will try and make more updates and yeah, keep it frequent. Um, but yeah, that's all for now. I hope you all are doing well. Take care. Bye bye.